Here we are, I know it's a little early in the morning, but it's cider, so don't worry about it. Here you go. Here's to the little bundle of joy. You have the colossal nerve to show up here and propose a toast to my pregnancy. Hmm. Well, ordinarily, I would have sprung for the most expensive bottle of champagne. But since it's too soon to know whether or not the artificial insemination took, I suggest you stay away from any alcoholic beverages, just in case. What do you think I am, a total idiot? On the contrary, I think anything but. Have you been following me? Why, do you need protection? I'd be more than happy to oh, follow you. Oh, no, please. I'll stick the cops on you and they'll rip your head right off of your neck. <laughs> now, who told you about the artificial insemination, David? Well, a little birdie told me. One by the name of Allison Doyle. Make love to me. Make love to no, me right no, now. No, 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 not this way. I'm pushing things again. Yeah, huh? you are. And, uh, Allie, I've had it with being pushed. I'm sorry. I just really want to make it up to you, you know, for all the things I've done. Is that it? Or, or do you want to be pregnant so you'd be neck and neck with Liza? <sighs> I hope you know me a little better well, than that. I would hope that I would, but I'd, I, mean, I just don't feel like I'd, I do know you that well lately. Jake, you've got to believe me when I tell you that I'm very sorry. The flowers and the apology to Liza, that was sincere. You've got to believe me. I, I want to. I do, but... I don't know, I just, lately I, I feel like I, I, I'm being whipsawed back and forth, and I, I don't... I know, and I, I know that that's my fault. You come to the clinic, you, you're angry and bitter, and now you want to make love to me. It's, you do this, you have been doing this, and I, I don't know what, what's making you go back and forth. done is done. Liza is going to have my child, and Jake will be yours, free and clear. Allie, Allie, <laughs> talk to me. I mean, what's going on with you? Oh, I was just, um, you know, when, when I realized that, that it was over, I mean, the procedure, I felt sort of a relief. Uh, you're going to have to run that by me again. I don't know. I, I guess I'm trying to say that I realized, finally, that what you were saying all along was the truth. That you never intended to father the baby once it was born. That you just were trying to help out a good friend. And you're really okay with that? Yeah. I mean, I'm tired of feeling this way, Jake. I'm, I'm sick of feeling guilty for all the things I've done. I realize that you and Liza must have hated me, and I don't blame you a bit. Possibly hate me as much as I hate myself. Honest, Miss Peggy, there's somebody in the mausoleum. It was we heard a scream. All right, all right, quiet, one at a time. Ah, 
You must mean the ghost. Ghost? What ghost? Well, actually, there's quite a few in there. There's old Mr. Marek, there's Helga. Well, you know, she was spooky even when she was alive. Really? I bet it was Helga. Ah, you know, Dimmy, Eddie, and Angelique used to have great fun imagining and pretending that they heard him time to time. But we weren't pretending. We really heard a scream. And ghosts don't scream. Ghosts don't make any noise. Sure they do. They go, woo, woo. Mm, that's not what we heard. It sounds like a lady ghost to me. <laughs> Well, you kids have a very fertile imagination. If you don't believe us, go down to the mausoleum and see for yourself. Well, I'm afraid I have no time to go ghost hunting today. I'm too busy taking care of all you little ones. Sam and Maddie are going to be waking up from their nap. And then, oh, which reminds me, if you kids want to squeeze in a horseback ride before lunch, change into your jeans now and then hurry down to the stables. I want to go back and talk to the ghost. Oh, I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Me too. All right, then. There's food right there, snacks. That'll tide you over. But I don't want you playing down by that mausoleum. You stay up here near the main house. You mind me now. Do we have to do what she says? What do you think? No, no, please. Please, let me explain to you. What's to explain? You were trying to leave me and Camille just like you did before. Oh, no. No, no, I, I would never do that. I, honestly, I... Why don't I believe that? Look, can't you understand? I, I was... I was trying to get you to notice me. To, to pay attention to me. And, and ever since we, you brought me here, the only time you've touched me is to hit me or slap me. And what I really want from you is for you to love me. I, so, so please, make love to me, my darling, please. Right now. Say what? I want you to make love to me. Since when? Since right now. I want to feel your lips on mine. You never wanted that. Of course I have. You're such an attractive man. I... Joy, I always had to insist on you doing that. Oh, I know, I know. But I, I was wrong, and I'm really trying to, to make that right. And, and you know, it, it is the 90s. Uh, women are allowed to make the first move. 90s? What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. Uh, you have heard of the, you know, sexual evolution, haven't you? Joy, it's not ladylike for a woman to ask a man to do that. Oh, yes. Yes, it is, if, if they're married. Unless, of course, you, you don't think I'm desirable if you don't want me. No, no. I do. I, I do want you, Joy. Allie told you, well... Don't believe it. First she tells Adam, and then she goes babbling on to you, of all people. Well, she didn't exactly blab. I guessed. You guessed? Mm-hmm. That Jake was playing the part of your stud. Allie was really unglued about it. You're kidding. Why, did you know? It was a little hard to miss. <sighs> Poor kid, huh? She's really taking a lot of hits lately. I feel sorry for her. Yeah, well, don't. Because she bounces back just fine. I wouldn't count on that. Really? We'll wake up and smell the flowers, David, because those are from Allie. You're joking. No. She decided to accept the whole thing, lock, stock, and rattle. So, why don't you just leave? <laughs> well, this is very interesting. Oh, please, don't get cryptic on me. Just go. No, no, I, I meant that she must have listened. Listen to what? Me. My advice. I told her that she should just accept the insemination for what it was. A simple clinical procedure. Allie hates you as much as I do. Why would she listen to your advice? I don't know. 
Well, then maybe she realized it on her own. Well, now that we've cleared that up. Couldn't you have picked somebody better than Jake? There's <sighs> nobody better than Jake. I would have been more than happy to volunteer, Liza. Oh, David, I saw Rosemary's Baby. Not up for the sequel. <laughs> well, maybe the first time with Jake didn't take. Hopefully you can afford to choose to be a little more discerning the second time around. I don't have a problem dipping into Jake's gene pool. You, on the other hand, could use a vat of chlorine. Think about your baby, Liza. Don't you want all the factors combined to be perfect? Looks, intelligence. Jake has all that in spades. Jake is like dipping into the backyard kiddie pool. <laughs> I'm like riding the surf at Waikiki. Oh, my, and you're so modest. I'm serious, Liza. If you have a chance to do it again, I'd be more than happy to help you out. With you as the mother and me as the father, this kid can't lose. I felt like I was drowning, Jake, and you were my life preserver. I just hung on to you so tight, I almost sucked you under, too. You know, I hurt myself, I hurt you, Liza. And I told you that. Do you remember? And you told me to go to hell. I know, just that the other night when you... You told me I needed professional help. Well, honey, I... I still think you do. Okay. Anyway, when you told me that, I... overreacted. And I was uh, in shock, and I was angry. And then, as if some fog had lifted over me, and suddenly I had this crystal clear moment where I realized that you were absolutely right. That I had gone way over the line. The one good thing in my life is you. And I went and torpedoed our relationship. Me. Not you, not Liza. And then you gave me a second chance, and I uh, blew that out of the water, too. Look, I know that I don't deserve this, but do you believe in third chances? Easy, easy, darling, easy. This blouse cost a fortune. Look, there's... Let me do it, okay? We've got all the time in the world here. And, uh... Every woman needs a little foreplay. Are you being a tease? No. No, of course I'm not. I just want to savor every delicious moment. <laughs> Do you think it's still in there? How would it get out? Ghosts can go through walls. Let's kill it. You can't kill a ghost. And hurry up. Come on, we haven't got all day. Of course we do. Uh, you quit your job, remember? We've got no place to go. And uh, you're about to get your own very personal striptease. This better be good. Oh, it will be, darling. It'll be the best you've ever had. You know that old saying, all good things come. I wouldn't let you father my child if you were the last sperm on earth. Ooh. Now go away. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no, no. We haven't toasted the baby yet. I don't drink with megalomaniacs, especially homicidal ones. All right. I have something else for you. I don't want anything. It's from medical you. information. Huh. What is it? I was there at holidays during the explosion when your heart stopped. Don't you remember that? Yeah, you saved my life. Big deal. I'm so sorry. I'm out of medals. I can't help it if, if your health is an ongoing concern with me. You could if you tried. Do you remember the person I told you about that had the same problem that you did? Mm. Well, I just thought that you would be happy to know that she just had another bouncing baby boy. Well, good for her. Mm. Why don't you... 
Let me ease your mind as well. What are you doing? Relax. I'm not making a move on you. I just want to oh. check your heart. Are you nuts? Make sure that it's strong. No. Get that thing away from me. What, are you afraid of me? I am not afraid of you. I don't want that thing or your hands on me. Liza, whatever you may think of me personally, I happen to be an excellent cardiologist. I'm the absolute best, in fact. Well, you know what? If I want a checkup, I'll call my doctor. Okay, all right, okay. Put it back in your you pocket. You win. I'll put it back in my pocket. All right. That's it. What are you doing? Are you calling him now? <sighs> Security. I have somebody who won't leave. All right, Who's all right. in my I'm office. Gone. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Okay, he's okay. leaving. Oh, um... You know... One more thing. No, not one more thing, Columbo. No, 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 no. Just, just one question. Did you ever fill that medical spot that you told me about for the evening news? The one that you dangled in front of me? You mean the one that I made up in order to get you to help me to kill Adam? The one that I just plotted to entice you? Entrapped was more like. Whatever. It worked. Mm. Too bad. From what I understand, medical spots are real ratings grabbers. Really? Mm -hmm. And with my charisma and expertise, <laughs> I could really help your station what? out. What is this? What are you doing? Why are you being this way, this nice, this decent and kind? Is this all a part of your little game? So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye-bye.